Hi folks, it's Bert Sanders here with you today for another segment of Thank Your Lucky Stars. Last week, we introduced you to well-known psychic and astrologer, Madam Triple X, who was assigned to prepare an astrology reading on Mr. Marvin Montgomery, who is better known to many of you as Starvin Marvin. I'd like to welcome you both back this week. Thank you, Bert. It's nice to be back. And how are you this week, Mr. Montgomery? I'm fine, but I hope this won't take too long because I'm getting kind of hungry. And you can call me Marvin. Now, will I be getting the same $20 food voucher for this show as I got for the last one? Uh, Yes, Marvin, you will. That's good. I just hope it's not for Yip Foods Restaurant this time because I had their Shanghai chicken and honey mouse turd sauce and it upset my stomach something awful. Uh, No, Marvin, this week's restaurant certificate is for Maximo's. Is that okay? Oh, that, that would be just fine. Maxio's makes a real fine steak dinner and lots of mushrooms. Okay, Madam Triple X, if you're ready to proceed with Marvin's reading, you just go right ahead. Yes, I'm ready. Now, due to the time factor, I'm not going to go through all of Marvin's 12 houses. I'll just key in on the highlights. Well, Marvin, you have a very interesting chart. Now, your second house represents your personal resources and your attitudes about money and possessions. According to your chart, you have Neptune in your second house, so the indication is that money does not play an important part in your life. Money and possessions are not a priority for you. Is that correct? Yes, that's true because I have no money or possessions. Okay, now your fifth house has to do with your personal strength of will as well as creativity, self-expression, and romance. Now you have Venus in your fifth house, and that indicates you have a very strong personal will, and you are very creative once you are challenged with a problem that needs to be overcome. And although romance and love affairs have not been a big part of your life, up to now, it will be very significant in your near future. Should I answer that? Maybe we'll let uh, Madam Triple X finish your chart, and then you can comment at the end. Uh, Go ahead, Madam Triple X. Thank you. Okay, that brings us to your sixth house, which deals with your health and work. Now, your chart says that you have one chronic health problem, but aside from that, you are a strong and relatively healthy person. When it comes to work, your chart indicates that up until recently, work has been rather sporadic for you. You've had many jobs that didn't last very long, but now you've found one that you like, and you're going to settle down for a while. This is true. Uh, Please, just hold your comments until the end, Marvin. Sorry, I just forgot. Now, when we come to your eighth house, which concerns transformation, regeneration, and sexuality, you have Uranus in your eighth house, and it seems like you're at that beginning of a cycle, transformation and regeneration. It seems that you are about to be involved in an event that will bring powerful changes to your life. Now listen, Marvin, you've got to be very careful with Uranus. Now your last house is the 12th house, which deals with self-undoing and institutions. You have Saturn in your 12th house, and this means that you have to guard against sabotaging yourself. I think there is a connection between this major event that you are about to be involved in that will bring powerful changes to your life. You must use your strong personal will to make sure that these changes are positive and not negative changes. There is a struggle or a battle ahead for you, Marvin, and you must prepare yourself very well for the struggle so that you come out with the right result. Now, that's all I have for you today, Marvin, but if you would like to discuss the rest of your chart, mm, I'd be happy to meet with you privately. 
any time. Thank you very much, Madam Triple X. Now, I know you have another session for a private reading in about 15 minutes, so you are free to go, and we'll see you next week. Thank you, Bert. Now, Marvin, what is your reaction to what Madam Triple X just told you? Well, Madam Triple X was right about the money and possession because I'm a homeless person and I live in a homeless shelter. I guess that's the situation she was talking about. And except for my metabolism and my eating disorder, I'm pretty strong and healthy. Now, I'm a good worker, and I learned really quick. But because of my fast metabolism, I, gets, I got to eat on the job, and most employees don't like that. Now, when she, when she said I had Venus in my fifth house, I didn't understand that too much. The only Venus I know is Venus Butterfly, who works at the radio station, and she's the finest woman I know. She interviewed me one time when I, got, when I got mugged, and then she gave me $20 for food. Now, I don't often get to talk to a woman as pretty as Venus, and she's a real nice person, too. All I can say, if I had Venus in my house, I would consider myself a real lucky man. Now, this part about transformation, regeneration, and sexuality... When Madam Triple X said that I got, I got to be careful with my amos, well, let me tell you, buddy, nobody but nobody messes with my amos. I was in the, hosp I was in the hospital once a few years ago, and one of them all in this tried to shove some kind of tube up my amos. Well, it cost me two front teeth. I might, I might be mighty skinny, but I'm pretty strong, and I kick like a mule. When I'm surprised by someone trying to shove something up my amos, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean. I didn't mean to hurt him, but he just surprised me. I was kind of. It was a kind of a knee jerk reaction. Now one more thing, Bert. Madam Triple X said I got twelve houses, right? Uh, yes, that's right, Marvin. Well, if I got twelve houses, how come I'm living it? How come I'm living in a homeless shelter? And since I'm not living in any of them houses, who's collecting all that rent money? Because I ain't seen one single dollar of it. Good point, Marvin. Good point. Well, that concludes our program for today, folks. Please join us next week for Thank Your Lucky Stars. Oh, boy. Don't forget my free steak dinner at Maxio's. I've got your certificate right here, Marvin. There you go. Thank you very much, Blake. It's been real good working with you. <laughs> <laughs>